Hey everybody, thanks for watching again. It's Mayor Betsy here tonight at the EOC. You know, I wanna tell you, this is an awful situation. I know you're scared, I am too. My family is concerned and scared too. But we wanna be prepared and not panicked here. We want you to know that we are working to make this as easy as humanly possible, but it's not. I've got a 12-day-old grandson at home that I saw the first three or four days, and now I'm staying away from him. It's a terrible situation for all of us. For those of you who've been laid off as a result of these directives, my heart goes out to you. It truly is an awful and unprecedented situation that we're in. But I want you to know that I believe I've just gotten off the phone with a major conversation with Governor Abbott. And I believe Texas has the right leadership at the top of the state right now. And I believe that our operation here has the right leadership running, running it. I'm not talking about me, I'm talking about the team here at your Emergency Operations Center and the department heads who are working diligently to make it easier and less fearful. Fil I can't talk either, Rest less frightening for you. So we're listening to the experts. They're telling us what we need to do. And I'm gonna call on a couple of the experts tonight to fill you in on what we've done. Once again, I'm gonna ask Brandon Bennett, our Director of Public Health for the City and our Code Compliance Director to come forward and talk to you. Listen to us, folks. Please comply with what we're asking. Love your family and know that we're working hard on your behalf. Brandon? Good evening. Uh, I'm gonna go over the list for the uh, most recent declaration that was signed today. Uh, before I do that, however, I would encourage those businesses that have been impacted by um, the closures so far or even just the economic impact uh, from people staying home uh, that you go to our website and you look up the Small Business Administration and other links uh, that you start reaching out to the agencies, getting information, uh, getting your paperwork filed. As stuff trickles in from the, the, the federal government and elsewhere, we'll be updating that site to, to help you. So um, the declaration today is very similar to the ones that were issued earlier. Uh, it will become effective at 12.01, uh, one minute after midnight uh, tonight. It permits, it prohibits the gathering of more than 50 people. So we started at 250, we moved to 125, and now we've stepped down to the CDC recommendation of 50 people. It closes dine-in service for restaurants. So restaurants can continue to offer takeout, curbside, and delivery. Uh, closes all bars, lounges, taverns, private clubs, theaters, gyms, and other amusement businesses. And it limits the total occupancy to 125 people or 50% uh, of capacity. So this allows some of the stores, well, actually all the stores, uh, uh, to stay open uh, but still have that social distancing uh, that's required. The occupancy limit does not apply to grocery stores, homeless and emergency shelters, manufacturing, uh, and, and similar locations and to office buildings. Uh, again, I would uh, ask that you go to our website uh, if you have uh, more, uh, if you have questions that we didn't answer, uh, and, and certainly take advantage of the county's uh, helpline, uh, which has now been expanded in its hours through a partnership with University of North Texas Health Sciences. Thank you. And it does not apply to grocery stores, but if you're being forced to go to the grocery store, particularly if you're over 60, 65, get a neighbor to go for you. Get them to order online and maybe you go pick it up in person. Comply with the social distancing at the grocery stores, at the pharmacies, where you need to be. We know it's a difficult time and know that if you lose your job and you can't pay your utilities, we will not turn your water off and we've been reassured that TXU will not turn off your electricity nor Atmos your gas. Know that we're working for you. I want now for you to hear from Chief Jim Davis, our fire chief, and what they're doing to help you too. Thank you. Chief Davis. Good evening, Mayor. Thank you. Uh, thanks to everybody. Uh, once again, uh, there's been very good compliance in the community with the uh, uh, request of the mayor to adhere to the guidelines that have been set in place. The Fire Prevention Bureau of the Fort Worth Fire Department 
has been out in the community, uh, stands ready to work with you to make sure that uh, we're operating within the guidelines as they uh, have been directed. Um, but as of the moment, uh, we're very appreciative of everybody's cooperation to point um, that we're at. The mayor has also asked that I speak to you this evening regarding the uh, personal protection equipment that you very well could see from members of the Fort Worth Fire Department and or MedStar uh, when you uh, ask for 911 services for uh, suspected illness that very well may be affiliated with the coronavirus. Chris is going to help me demonstrate this to you. As very, very quickly, I'd like to go through a couple things about this. For your own personal safety, recognize the fact that you're calling for help and there is an ambulance or a fire truck out in front of your house. If there's a knock on your door and there is somebody like this that you are not, uh, you're not expecting at your door, then assume that that is not a representative of the city of Fort Worth or of MedStar for your own protection. However, you have requested help, you uh, are waiting for assistance, you come to the door and there's a fire truck or a MedStar ambulance there, you can rest assured that these are folks that are taking the personal protection they need for themselves and for you. You, you very well may be asked that if you can ambulate and come to the door, that you will be asked to come to the door and possibly come outside in order to make a, uh, an assessment in an open area instead of in a closed environment. That could happen. However, Chris is going to help me demonstrate to you what very possibly um, the personal equipment that you'll see these folks with. So Chris is in a full body gown here um, that will um, protect him from splash, from uh, if, if you get sick and so forth. He'll also have a pair of rubber gloves on uh, for personal protection of, of in touching you or you touching him. And then he'll have a mask on. And the reason that we're using this type of mask is because the firefighters of the Fort Worth Fire Department, this is their assigned mask that they use for structure fires. And the, um, the canister here on the front of it is reusable. So as we try to extend out the life of supplies, if this goes on for any length of time, I realize this looks a little intimidating and scary. However, it provides the maximum level of protection for you and for them. And it also allows us to conserve supplies that are needed uh, down the road. So this is what Chris is going to look like when he comes to the door. Um, there'll be a little bit of communication. Uh, he'll have to talk up. He'll, he'll have to lean in to ask you uh, questions and so forth. And we're going to ask that you work with him on that. So Chris, thank you very much. I appreciate it. So from our perspective, again, your safety is our primary concern. And first and foremost, if you didn't ask for our assistance and there's not a fire apparatus or an ambulance out in front and somebody shows up at your house like that, don't let them in. Don't open the door. Assume that that's somebody that's there for the wrong reason. Otherwise, we're here to help you. We want to keep our folks safe. We want to keep you safe. And we appreciate you working with us. So, Mayor, that's pretty much all I got to say for the evening. That's good. I appreciate it, Chief Davis. You know, folks, they are scary, but they're for your protection. And don't call 911 if you just have a cough. Call your doctor or your medical care provider or go to the clinic on the corner first. As a last resort, we don't want to overcome our health care providers that are at the hospital for those that we don't need their care. If you're feeling sick, make sure you contact medical personnel. Thanks for watching us tonight. We'll be back tomorrow at 6. Go to fortworthtexas.gov's website and you can send us questions, call my office, call the chief or Brandon's office if you need to. Somebody will answer your questions. Just know we're as concerned as you are and if we all pull this load together, we'll get there to protect our loved ones, your loved ones, and each and every one of you. Thank you.